Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. Uh, you can see that I have the Shadowland Tarot on the tarot table today. Um, it's my um, rather vulgar and embarrassing tarot projection of the shadow I very often use uh, for Harry but he's not the only one that I read on with this particular tarot deck I can also look of course at presidents former presidents and yes it was super Tuesday in the United States yesterday I'm not following American politics closely at all but it has crossed my consciousness that Donald Trump seems to have a clear run uh, on the Republican side of things. Nikki Haley, she hasn't um, quit by the time I do this reading that she seems about to quit. And uh, it's all systems go for him on, as I say, the Republican side of things. I don't personally have uh, a preference uh, whether Biden or Trump. I personally think that they are both pretty useless. I think most politicians out there in the world are pretty useless at that point, at this point, my own country included. So uh, this isn't a political reading. Let's make that very clear. I don't care. Uh, I wish fervently that there were better options available to people everywhere to vote for. But it seems as if we might be on the track towards a Trump versus Biden election in November. All things going according to current energy. And of course, Donald Trump has warned Prince Harry quite recently that he is on his own if Trump wins in November. So that's what I'm looking at today with the Shadowland Tarot, not a political reading. This is consequences for Prince Harry, consequences of his unforgivable, to quote Donald Trump, betrayal of the late Queen. Donald Trump was a fan of the Queen. And of course, when he made his state visit, to the United Kingdom where the Queen was still alive, Meghan opted out. She was still a working royal at that stage. She used the excuse of her malignancy for not showing up. Harry was there scowling, sort of scuffing the floor with his shoe and uh, looking like a petulant brat. Um, so Donald Trump, as I say, uh, has warned Harry that he will be on his own. And he has criticized the Biden administration for their treatment of Prince Harry and said that they have been far too gracious to him since he moved to the United States in 2020. Of course, his visa status, his immigration status is unknown. There is that ongoing um, uh, procedure, proceedings by the Heritage Foundation to try and find out the, his visa status and what has been waived and whatever else because of his uh, widely um, acknowledged drug use. Um, so I'm going to use the Shadowland Tarot. We're going to do a little uh, reading and see Donald Trump on the one side, Parkles on the other. The mutual feelings or antipathy, I think we can safely say it is antipathy. Uh, Donald Trump's views about Harry's immigration status. I'm going to throw in security status as well because there's a lot of speculation that there might be some secret help coming from the Biden administration. I don't know. Uh, Joe Biden's distanced herself from the Invictus Games. Famously, they uh, were, didn't invite the Parkles onto Air Force One on that flight back to the United States after the funeral, things like that. So, mm, uh, how worried is Harry that um, his, his status might change under a Trump administration? Likelihood of Trump doing anything if he does um, regain power in November. The likelihood of Park was having to pack their suitcases and flee perhaps to Canada. Who knows? And then it's just because we're going to throw in a final card and ask um, his chances, Trump's chances in November because of the bearing that it has on Harry and Meghan. That's the only reason I'm asking that question. I need to make it very clear. Um, 
and uh, what else do I need to say? The theme for the day really is the Parkles uh, worrying times for them in terms of people that they might have offended, such as in this case Donald Trump. And uh, who knew that he might be back in power? I don't think the Parkles ever suspected for one second that this would be happening. And uh, so we're going to have a look at it in this reading and um, see what's going on. I think we're there with this tarot deck. And uh, let's remind you that it is just tarot and it is for fun and entertainment and it is all speculation and all my opinion and just energy. And disclaimer in the box below, Trump on the left of the spread and Harry and Meghan on the right. And um, I'll explain the cards as we go. And uh, that's the outcome. And uh, underlying energy, what do we have? We have, ooh, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. That's Harry. Harry in reverse. Um, in his shadow aspect, um, somebody who's unstable, somebody who is, is losing power, um, running out of money, not very successful in terms of his business dealings and his connections, his networking, his ability to provide, put uh, food on the table. Traditionally for the King of Pentacles is the husband provider kind of a card in the good old days when you could talk about things like that without being in big trouble. Uh, but there he is. That's Harry, King of Pentacles in reverse. That is him in his shadow aspect. And of course, he has come across that way because of his acknowledged drug use and his wild lifestyle. He's in trouble again with one of those Vegas girls who is uh, threatening to put uh, photos on OnlyFans for a paying audience. Um, embarrassing times and shameful and disgraceful times also, you could say, for the King of Pentacles in reverse. So let's have a look at the situation that we are dealing with. We're dealing with the two of swords in reverse. And this is um, crossroads time type of energy. The two of swords is um, uh, you can see someone who's blindfolded and has a decision to make. Um, well, it's in reverse. It's uh, heading into tricky territory because that decision that you've tried to put off making uh, for as long as possible delayed it, which would be two of swords upright is now upon you. And this might be for Harry and Meghan that uh, this situation that they never thought was going to happen now seems like it could actually happen after the events of yesterday, Super Tuesday, and uh, oh no. And we might have to pack our suitcases. And as I say, uh, the Prince and Princess of Canada might be returning to Canada. And brace yourselves if you are Canadian. I'm being snarky, of course, but only slightly. So let's see on the left, Donald Trump. How does he feel about Harry and Meghan, the Parkles, and uh, their unforgivable betrayal of the Queen? The, ooh, the moon in reverse. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, uh, he, he's coming across a bit big bad wolf there in this card, I have to say. The two little parkles trotting along the road. He knows stuff. Because the moon is all about secrets and stuff that's in the shadows, stuff that people don't want revealed, that they hide even possibly from themselves. The moon uh, could also go bump in the night, just saying, because it is a card, it's a female card, it's a card of bodies and pregnancies and cycles and things like that. So he might know an awful lot about the Parkles. Uh, things that the Parkles, as I say, would rather people didn't know about them. Uh, how do they feel about him? Uh, we have the Six of Cups in reverse. Uh, don't like, don't like, um, the Six of Cups is about old friends, childhood, things like that, the past. Comfortable, happy times when it's upright, unhappy times in the reverse. They don't look fondly back at the time when he was in power. We can read that card like that. Um, they don't have happy memories of that time, that uh, period in history. And they don't also, um, I would say, want to have anything to do with him in future because of that. It's also that kind of 
coziness, the Six of Cups. He did seem to have quite a cozy relationship with the Queen. She seemed to quite like him. Uh, he definitely liked her a lot. And um, they don't approve. Put it that way. Six of Cups in reverse. So how does Donald Trump feel about Harry's immigration status? And we're also throwing in security in there as well. Uh, King of Swords. Um, that is him in, in his more Gemini aspect of um, being quite shrewd, wanting to see, I would say, wanting to know the deal there. That's not somebody who's all fuzzy and cozy and um, uh, buffoonish. That's somebody who says, bring the lawyers, bring the paperwork. I want to see. I want to know what's going on. Interesting energy because it's, it's very incisive it's shrewd uh pretty ruthless energy the king of swords um even upright so he's not feeling uh, charitable towards harry he's not feeling oh well never mind we'll fudge this and who cares because you are the son of a king no not with a king of swords as i say it's bring the paperwork bring the lawyers let's have a look at it i want to know all about it I would say, with that King of Swords. How worried is Harry on the other side about this? At all? Oh yes, the Emperor in reverse. I think very angry about it, indignant. I'm the son of a king. I'm in line, uh, you know, I could be king. One plane crash away, as Meghan keep, kept reminding everybody, apparently, allegedly. Um, I don't know, it could be an urban legend, of course. So, um, but uh, the emperor in reverse is somebody who feel, thinks very highly of themselves, overinflated sense of their own importance, the emperor in reverse, very narcissistic, very arrogant, um, also chaotic. Um, so it tells me that whatever paperwork was done or wasn't done has left Harry in some trouble because it is about organization and planning and um, getting your ducks in a row, the emperor, doing stuff, and it's in reverse. So um, ego, pride, arrogance, anger about this, can't believe it, I'm the son of a king, I could be king, I just gotta get rid of um, Willie, get him out the way, and uh, then it's all mine, and how dare you, question me and interrogate me and threaten me and say that you're on your own if I become president. I'm more important than you are. Emperor Trump's a king. Emperor Trump's the king of swords, to use an unfortunate word. And I didn't mean it um, being uh, punning at all, just came out. But uh, it's very interesting, very interesting. Um, uh, posturing that's going on here with this emperor in reverse little puffed up prince that he is in my opinion so let's see the likelihood of donald trump actually doing anything taking active measures against harry if he wins likelihood of doing anything that you oh yes that's a forward motion this is something that's on his to-do list um determined the chariot is very determined energy uh, very purposeful, very focused, forward motion. This will be actioned. What a terrible word. Don't know where it came from, but it definitely is on the to-do list. Might even be right at the top, because as I say, he does seem extremely loyal to the memory of the late queen and extremely indignant about the way that Harry and Meghan traduced her and the rest of the royals as well on Oprah and everywhere else. So that's interesting. How likely are the Parkles to be um, homeless and looking for a new country? I don't think you can be stateless, but possibly homeless and on the run, uh, being snarky again. Page of Swords in the reverse. <laughs> it, uh, there's, there's, there's potential for trouble here. I'm not getting you know evicted and, and having to um, levitate, click their heels and, and uh, off they go as this little person here in the Page of Swords is levitating and off with a sword. They might have to fight some sort of rearguard action with that Page of Swords uh, and try and stop that chariot. And that would be with 
um, and perhaps some rebel rousing because the page of swords for me is very much rebel rousing when it's in the reverse get those trolls going the flying monkeys um, start you know um, campaigning um, uh, hit pieces in the press and on, in, on social media uh, rebel rouse about um, race and things like that and, and they can do it very effectively we have seen them do it effectively so I don't see them having to scamper away and find a new home but I do see them having to um, a fight a kind of crusade on social media to clap back What's a word? We um, hardly ever heard that word a few years ago, but now we say it almost every day here on this channel. Some kind of a clap back. If uh, those wheels are set in motion with the chariot to kind of drive them out. Um, and that's the way I'm reading these. this energy. Of course, it's just all me and my opinion. Let's have a look and see likelihood of Donald Trump actually winning in November and all of this, let's use that terrible word again, being actioned. Oh my. <laughs> Eight of Wands is very much uh, um, an unstoppable force energy. Uh, wow. Um, hmm. it's, it's unblocking. And of course he's been, um, well, they have tried to stop him every which way. But uh, this is full throttle. This is going, going forward uh, in a very dynamic way. So brace yourselves. As I say, not my, not my race. I don't care. I'm uh, not that I don't care, but I don't, I'm, I, I don't have a, a side here. So I'm, I'm, um, I'm like Switzerland here, except not as rich. And, uh, there it is. That is, yeah, I think it tells its own tale that eight of wands. I don't need to bash on about it. Uh, that's the interesting card for me, that emperor in reverse. Such indignation, such outrage um, about this. And he definitely knows what's what with the Parkles moon in reverse. He knows the whole deal. He knows it all. Donald Trump, very interesting. So that is your reading. And uh, thanks for watching. On to the next one.